Did you just get a new puppy? Are you super excited to head out and do all this socialization? But when you talked to your breeder or you went to your vet, they told you it's not safe for your puppy. They're right. Oftentimes when our puppies are in that critical period of socialization, up until 16 to 20 weeks of age, they're actually not fully vaccinated. So what does that mean? It means that it's easy for them to pick up contagious pathogens that could make them sick. And we don't want that. I'm Chelsea with Positive Futures Dog Training and Behavior. And today I'm gonna to share with you what we call Observe and Learns. And this is actually a safe way for you to socialize your puppy without exposing them to anything out in the environment. This game is also great for puppies that might be a little more on the shy side. Oftentimes when we start our socialization, we might notice that our puppy is ducking, crouching, looking away, flattening their ears. Maybe they're peeing when they say hi to people. Maybe they're crouching so low to the ground they're almost laying down. Or maybe they hear a loud noise and they just want to get out of there. These are signs that your puppy is worried about the environment. And the last thing that we want to do is force them into something that they're not prepared for. So these observe and learns are also a wonderful way for you to socialize your puppy and keep enough space from things so your puppy isn't overwhelmed and is instead building positive associations with all of the novelty that they're going to be experiencing. It's always important when you're heading out for an observe and learn that you choose your location wisely. Weather, time of day, temperature, how busy an environment is, and the plethora of noises and activity can all contribute to how successful and confident your puppy will be, which is very important. You can also choose whether or not you want your puppy in the crate, laying down in the car, or even laying down on a mat next to the car. One thing I always recommend, whether it's your first outing or your first time trying a new place with a puppy who might be worried, is to keep your distance from everybody. Remember that space is your friend. The closer that boogie monster is to the puppy, the more scared the puppy is. While I'm rewarding her, I'm watching her body language carefully. I like the ability for her to be able to look at all of the things around her, to take food easily, to look at me and get rewarded for attention, and to not be trying to get away or flee. These are all signs from her that she's enjoying this experience and it's not too much for her. While you're carefully observing your puppy, make sure you're also keeping an eye on your surroundings. We wanna be prepared for anything that might make a loud noise so that we are ready to reinforce the puppy. We also wanna make sure we're prepared in case we encounter any people that wanna come in and say hello. This is a visit for the puppy and I'm not really looking for any human social interaction at this point. If you live on a farm and have some other animals, you have some children running around, or if you're experiencing some weather outside, that's another wonderful opportunity to do an observe and learn right from your own house. You can hang out inside while the door is open or even sit outside on a blanket while the world passes you by. Again, with the goal of building positive associations with novelty, or in this case, the weather, I want her to have a good time and I want her to get lots of reinforcement. So I reinforce the behavior of quietly watching the rain, laying down, and even giving me attention. As your dog begins to soften up and warm up, and they're not worried about their surroundings or the novelty you've presented them with, you can begin to rehearse a little bit of training behaviors that you've practiced in low distraction environments. So for her, I begin to work on a hand target, a skill that she enjoys and has gotten a lot of time practicing. When heading out into the real world, it's always a great idea to bring a blanket or a large whelping mat to lay on the ground if your puppy hasn't had any rounds of vaccines. But as your puppy ages and they get some vaccines on board, speak with your veterinary team about any local risks and how they recommend you handling it. Once they're fully okay, vaccinated, you're definitely safe to put the puppies you right on the ground you. as you practice these observe and learn procedures. When planning your observe and learns, I recommend one a week until your puppy has entered their teenager times. This gives them the ability to see a lot of the world around them and start building all of those positive associations, preventing a lot of behavioral issues down the road. Now, when you take your puppy out, I do recommend trying to get creative when planning novelty. We don't wanna to go to the same places over and over. Instead, we wanna mix it up so your puppy's experiencing new things. 
And of course, we wanna keep a really close eye on your puppy when we're out doing these activities. We wanna look for body language that is soft and loose. We want a puppy that can play with toys and look at the environment and disengage and look at you. We want a puppy that is easily taking treats with a soft mouth that can play and do a little bit of training. If you notice that your puppy is staring, barking, showing their teeth, lifting their hackles, trying to get away, not eating, or taking treats too harshly. These are all indicators that your puppy is really overwhelmed. It's important to not force them to remain in this position. Instead, get them out of there. Get them back to a place where they can be that normal, playful puppy that they are at home. And then try to figure out how you can do another observe and learn where your puppy is much more comfortable. Decreasing activity, quieter environment, maybe even more distance away from all the activity. When going out on observe and learns, it's important to remember that you're out in the real world. And while we can prepare ourselves for a lot of challenges that we might experience, we can't be prepared for everything. Some of which are strange people and dogs that might wanna come up and say hello. I find it easy for me to have something prepared ahead of time so that it's easy for me to say in the moment. I say something along the lines of, I'm sorry my puppy's not vaccinated, we can't say hello. I like to save those greetings when there's smaller crowds and I know the people. This way I can give very clear advice and make sure that the puppy isn't overwhelmed with the environment. When I do observe and learns, I have three goals when I head out with my puppies. Calm and quiet, because that usually means they're comfortable. Now, it doesn't always. We want to make sure that we're looking at the whole puppy and all of those body language signals. Alert ears, calm, wiggly body. I don't want to see calm and quiet in the sense that the puppy is choosing to disengage and try to get away. The second goal that I have is attention to me. If your puppy is choosing to give you attention, wonderful. You can start to teach your puppy that attention to you is a great thing, which is the foundation for all of our training down the road with our puppy. So if my puppy chooses to check in, I'm definitely going to pay that. My third goal when I'm doing these observe and learns is to build positive associations with novelty. Now, oftentimes as humans, we tend to tune out all of the extra, right? The plane, somebody hitting a baseball bat over there, but our puppies notice this. So you need to be really aware of your environment. And anytime something goes by visually, anytime you hear something, anytime your puppy steps on something new, it's your job to notice that and to pay your puppy because we want your puppy to build positive associations. So when they experience something new, yay, what a good puppy, and here's your treats. I hope that was helpful for you guys and I hope it gives you some ideas on how you can safely socialize your puppy. Remember that it's not just about exposure. We don't wanna get our puppies out and let them see everything. The goal is positive associations with novelty. What does that mean? It means my puppy's having fun. It means my puppy has loose wiggly body language, is excitedly taking my treats, is looking at all of the stuff and is able to check back in me. Those are good signs that my puppy's having a good time. You can bring some toys, you can bring a Kong or a topple, a bully stick or something to chew on. Remember your goal is for your puppy to have fun. So bring all the tools you think you might need to help you and your puppy be successful. Remember as well that puppies got short attention spans, so they don't need to stay out in an environment for a long time in order for this to be productive. So if you've got a family member with you and they're stopping at a grocery store to pick something up, tie in a little observe and learn to that trip. You can be productive with your own schedules and make this convenient for you. If you enjoyed this video and you need a little more assistance with puppy training, We've got a whole playlist dedicated to puppies here. And if there's something particular that you wanna hear about, please feel free to drop it in the comments and we're happy as we are raising a puppy of our own right now to get you guys a little more puppy content. Happy training.